Hello, my very most beautiful Pisces. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So my lovelies, we are going to be doing your September mid-monthly reading. This is a general reading and it may not be able to resonate for all of you. So if you guys want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do have personals open. I have recorded video readings as well as Zoom readings. And for the next two days, Zoom readings are still on sale. Um, for $45 and everything that you guys will need to know about scheduling that is in the description box below for you. So you can also follow me over on Patreon now. I do additional readings over there, spiritual growth, personal development, money and career, as well as love readings. And there's a link for that in the description box as well. So Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding for my very most beautiful Pisces, please. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through, and may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Pisces energy, a very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what is going on for you. All right, we have the Five of Swords in the reverse as the general overall energy of the reading. To me, it feels a little bit like remorse with that energy. Um, I, I do, I feel like somebody's, somebody's feeling some remorse here. So we have the Queen of Wands in the reverse for where the connection is right now not feeling very confident in how to move forward in a situation not feeling very confident and i think it's because of everything that's happened i think that this is definitely somebody that you you guys have been through a lot with okay there's a lot here there's a lot to unpack here we have the ten of wands and i think some of you guys could be having a hard time like seeing past it you know he's got his face buried in these wands and sometimes they can talk about you know really being focused on these things and i think what is that expression um that's sometimes there's an expression that always comes with the ten of wands and i i know it and then as soon as i go to say it i lose it but um so focused on the trees that you can't see the forest and and i think that that's an energy that's really play here i think the trees in this can you know in this scenario are focused on all the things that were done all the things that were said all the all the hurts all the anger all the resentments um in this connection everything that you guys have been through right and it's hard to see the bigger picture it's hard to see how you guys can get past that when you're so focused on those things and so that's a challenge is there's just a lot here and i feel like because of that you're just not confident how this can work out you know how this can move forward how you guys can get past this you have the nine of wands. I think you're really on guard when it comes to this person. I think you have a little bit of walls up when it comes to this person because you have been through a lot. He is the wounded warrior. So you can see there is this wall behind him and then he's he's all bandaged and, you know, broken. And I, I think that this person has put you through a lot. I think that you've been through a lot with them. And it's it's like now you're tired and you've been through so much that you're automatically just kind of on guard when it comes to them. They are, there's an energy of remorse here, right? So I do feel like they are feeling that. They have the Six of Cups. A lot of remorse towards the past. I, I think that they're doing a lot of reflecting on things that have been said and done. We're going to start to clarify now. And then we're going to finish off the reading. Tell me about this Queen of Wands in the reverse. We got the Two of Swords. Yeah. You're very skeptical and decisive, you know, whether you can trust this or not. You can't see clearly. You can't You can't see if this is a good idea, if it's not a good idea. You're not sure if you should believe them, if you shouldn't. I mean, very indecisive energy. Tell me about this Five of Swords in the reverse. The Two of Cups. So there could be a very positive conversation coming in. I think there could be, an, like, just a very meaningful exchange between the two of you where this person is expressing their remorse to you uh, about the connection and expressing their feelings to you about the connection. And I feel that um, it, it's got you feeling indecisive and feeling unsure and feeling skeptical. Yeah, we got the justice in the reverse that fell out as well. So there's just been a lot. I think this person has, you know, done you wrong 
um, quite a bit here. So it's very difficult for you to trust this or open up to this. Tell me about this nine of wands. I got the death card. Wondering if things really have, is, is it possible that things have really transformed or is it better for this to continue to stay over? Um, you know, I think this is kind of where you're at. It's the death and the rebirth. Tell me about this six of cups. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Scorpio. You have a couple Scorpio cards here. It doesn't have to be. You also have Gemini, Cancer, Aquarius, Libra. Got the High Priestess. Got another Pisces, possibly. So somebody's really, like, their energy is the High Priestess and the Six of Cups. I feel like this person is very much so in this energy of total unknown. Like, I, they have no idea if you're going to be able to open up to them, if you're going to be able to take them back. You know, the High Priestess is like the unknown. It is mysteries. And I think when it comes to the past, because of the past, there is this huge energy of unknown for them. Tell me about this Ten of Wands. You got the Strength card. I feel like that's why you're holding back. I feel like it's going to take a lot of um, courage to open up to this again. You got the Ten of Swords in the reverse is showing up as the best approach to the situation. So let's see what that's about. The Four of Pentacles. So with this energy and this being the best approach to the situation, um, you know, I would say be cautious because I think, guys, the Ten of Swords in the reverse sometimes can talk about something that's being drug out for a long time. You know, kind of like, um, it kind of reminds me of like the Tower in the reverse, trying to kind of avoid the inevitable, right? Um, so something that's just been drug out for a long time. And the Four of Pentacles, I feel like there's a lot holding on to. So in order for you guys to be able to come together and for this to be successful, you know, there's going to have to be a lot of stuff that gets worked through and released. And that can talk about, you know, the past hurts, the anger, the resentments. You know, there's all these things that have to be healed and released and worked through, forgiven, and with the Four of Pentacles, I think you're still holding on to a lot. And I feel like you're feeling very protective of your heart. In the traditional Rider Waite deck, he has a pentacle right over top of his heart, almost like a shield. And I feel like that's the energy that you're in. And it seemed like this is something that you've already put yourself through quite a bit. Now, only you guys get to decide what's best for you, though, okay? Only you guys get to decide whether you allow somebody back into your energy or not. You got the Page of Swords here in the reverse for... Um, the immediate future or like potential future to me that's you feeling very skeptical um it's an energy of skepticism here yeah we got the nine of wands very on guard with this person have a wall up when it comes to this person and the wheel of fortune so they're trying to come back and wanting to move forward and i think that you guys you know even in the future you're not sure if you can trust them you're very skeptical so we're going to go ahead and grab another deck. We're going to take a look at their true intentions towards you. And we're going to look at what actions they may be taking moving forward. I'm getting flipped around. All right. So I'm going to get these shuffled up. Let's go ahead and take a look. Show me this person's true intentions. What are their true intentions when it comes to Pisces? What are their true intentions when it comes to Pisces, please? So we got the Queen of Pentacles here. That can be a card of investing time, effort, and energy into something. Um, it can be a card of trying to nurture something here. And we got the High Priestess. It can also be a card of resources. So if this is somebody who has like used you financially in the past or stolen from you, if there's anything to do with any kind of that, I would be cautious with this energy, okay? Because it can be secrets, they're in resources. So, you know, that's probably just a message for like one person. But if that's if that has if that has been an issue within this connection in the past, I would be cautious of that moving forward. To me, I do feel like they, they are willing to work on this, but they have, you know, there's a lot of unknowns surrounding it. Like, so they want to, they just don't know if you guys are going to be able to um, because of everything that, you know, everything that's happened here. What actions will they take? 
We have the Four of Wands, so I do think they're going to try to reach their goal. The Four of Wands is like reaching a goal, a finish line, an accomplishment. So I, I do, I feel like they have a goal of kind of, you know, getting you back here and trying to work on things. And, you know, I see them, I see them trying to accomplish that here. I feel like you're very skeptical about this, Pisces, though. So I would say trust your intuition, and I would say, you know, only you guys get to decide what's best for you. So that is what I have for you. If it resonates, let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, then just check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that is in the description box below for you. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. So I am sending so much love and light until next time.